support. You are ruddy, bloody, brilliant. And I hope that you enjoy this video. Hey guys. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. This is the ASMR Gamer. And welcome to a video that we have not done for a very long time. And this is a what is on my phone, in this case, iPhone video for an update in 2024. And these are, I find these quite fun videos to watch. Um, I'm quite a nosy character on the quiet. But I thought it's been quite a while since we you know, did one here on the channel. So I thought, why not on this? Well, it's actually a glorious uh, late afternoon here. But I thought, why not for this evening's video? Settle down and take you through the various applications that I have on my phone. So I've got a, I believe it is an iPhone 12 or 13. She said she was 12. Um, I'm not 100%, I think it's the 12. Um, but in all honesty, they, it all gets kind of lost. Um, you will notice I've got uh, this touch access. It's because very recently I um, buggered my phone up quite a bit. Uh, I basically dropped it in the bath. Uh, you know, no shame, no shame. But um, it means my lock button is absolutely useless. My volume works uh, intermittently. Um, but it also means I you might be able to see, you might not, but my camera lenses are all quite fogged up. You might not be able to see, you might be able to. Hello there. Um, so I've had to basically find a way to work my phone by getting creative. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm actually looking to, I'm needing to upgrade. Uh, the contracts come to an end, so some might say why didn't you save this for another video and that's a very good uh, that's a very good point but it just means we'll probably do another video where it's a bit more of an unboxing but anyway anyway let's let's get into it but before we settle in don't forget to drop a like if you enjoy this video or dislike you know this is a democracy um, and yeah, subscribe if you are new. We are on the road to 80,000 subscribers. Uh, massive, massively. Uh, yeah, appreciate. And a uh, big shout out to the members. Got a fish and chips mukbang coming next week, so uh, stay tuned for that. Right, that's enough plugging. <laughs> Let's get into it. So, uh, I suppose actually, uh, start from the bottom. So, these are my, well, I'll just, yeah, say most used, but the ones I have the quickest access to. Um, you've got your mail that I've actually got to, uh, sort of emails there. I've got my mail, which is my Outlook, and then I've got my Gmail here. Now, before people start commenting about the volume of notifications, I shall not be for turning. Um, just got to roll with it. Just got to roll with it. But yeah, here, this is for my, my very first email, which is a Hotmail email. And then for my proper, proper email and my YouTube email. That's all in, in Gmail. Uh, you've then got Spotify, you know, pretty, um, pretty straightforward. Can we open this up? I'm on airplane mode. Okay. Get a little look into my into my Spotify. So you've got The Ramsey Show, which I'm actually currently listening to an episode now. Uh, you've got James Blunt, All Out 80s, The Magic Gang, 
thoroughly recommend the Magic Gang. Uh, the best of noughties and teas for fear, so you know, it's, uh, you could say my music taste is pretty, uh, pretty elite. Oh, well, I've got loads of tabs open, lol. So, that's, that's what I have down here, and obviously you've got, you've got Safari for all your internet browsing needs. So, I've got four pages, let's get into it. So, starting at the top, you've got messages, a fairly straightforward affair, uh, same with phone, I don't need to go into that in any particular detail, it's all, like I say, straightforward, and uh, again, ignore the, the, the volume of notifications. You've then got a photography uh, folder here, which is my photos and my camera in. Um, actually, I might be able to show you um, uh, what I mean by um, sort of the blurry camera. Let's get that open. Let's let's flip that around. Hello there. Hello. Um, yeah, a bit blurry. You've got your calendar there. I use my calendar quite a bit actually, uh, just for like little reminders. I'm someone who quite likes to write stuff down, for, whether it's for reminders or to-do lists. Uh, so I do use the calendar quite frequently. Uh, clock, you've got all your alarms. Uh, this is a timer. Um, but if I go to my alarms, um, they're a little bit insane. So starting at 3, uh, 3 a.m. all the way all the way up, 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 up the stairs. So I'll just keep throwing up random references to quarter, quarter to midnight. Um, these aren't used uh, daily, um, but uh, they're just alarms I've made and not deleted. Uh, sort of maintenance clearly isn't high upon on this list. You've then got notes again. Uh, I use notes quite frequently. Lists, uh, goals, objectives, a uh, little brainstorms of video schedules, all that jazz. Uh, settings, and then you've got shop. So this is my commerce folder. So a few apps in here, you've got eBay. Um, I, I occasionally sell on eBay. I occasionally buy on eBay. It's not something I use particularly frequently. Uh, Amazon, I use probably the most in this folder. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I use the most in this folder. You've then got Prime Now. So this is this is what I used when I was living down in Basingstoke. And because I lived near a fulfillment center, you, you could basically access to certain goods that would arrive within a two-hour window. Pretty cool. And then you've got Moonpig. Moonpig.com. Uh, which is basically a... Uh, a creative card company you can you know make custom uh, custom cards you've then got uh, social uh, you got Twitter uh, or X as it is known now I use that quite a bit Facebook a uh, bit of a legacy app I really don't particularly use that snapchat same same with Facebook don't really use that anymore messenger I do use quite frequently talk to quite a few of my friends on messenger and then, of course, you've got LinkedIn at the professional network. Oh, here we go. The, the proper, the proper folder. This is food, aptly named. <coughs> Apologies there. So, I've got a few, a few of the old apps. So you've got Deliveroo, um, which is, I don't think you have Deliveroo in the States, but it's quite popular over here. This was actually, um, before, before Uber Eats. You've then got Weatherspoons, the uh, the app, uh, Weatherspoons National Institution. You've got Domino, uh, Uber Eats, uh, Green King has a chain of pubs here in the UK. You've got uh, HelloFresh, the uh, the food subscription guys. I don't actually get HelloFresh anymore. You've got Zap, which was kind of like a I don't know if they're still doing it. It was really quite popular in London, but like a almost like a grocery delivery route, but then delivery and Uber Eats have kind of crowded them out. Uh, Costa Coffee, if you want Chase Mar in the car, uh, live, you'll know all about that. Alt Eats, this was just, there's a bar in Manchester that uses that. Uh, you've then got Starbucks, never use that. Uh, you've got my Tesco Club Card, every little else when we're getting those meal deals. Uh, my McDonald's, so the McDonald's app, uh, get here, that's like uh, Zap. Um, black Sheep Coffee, uh, coffee 
keychain in Manchester and elsewhere, pretty good. Uh, again, but don't really use it in Common and Go. Again, similar to Old Eats, it's for just certain bars and stuff in uh, in Manchester. Entertainment. So this is where some of my uh, sort of entertainment apps are. So you've got Netflix, uh, Play Movies. Never use that. That's Google Play, uh, BBC iPlayer. Uh, very, very infrequently, and YouTube. Uh, use that daily. You've then got the the business business folder. So you've got here uh, the legacy. Uh, twice I've used legacy. Uh, I need I need a thesaurus. Uh, the ASMR gamer app. So this is now defunct, but is uh, I keep it as a relic of a uh, a bygone time when we had the ASMR gamer app. A uh, few of you will remember that time. What a what a time that was. We've got YouTube Studio here, so um, this is so you can actually like, manage your account, view your videos, check your analytics, uh, and see your comments and all that. Uh, you then got HL Hargreaves Lansdowne, so this is where um, this is uh, the brokerage that I use for um, my ISAs for investments. Uh, PayPal, uh, and then you've got Coinbase, the crypto exchange, so I'll just keep them all in one handy spot. You've then got music. Uh, this is a bit of a miscellaneous, to be fair. Uh, you've got the iTunes Store. Uh, I've not bought a, a song off the iTunes Store for... Oh, although, to be fair, I was quite late to Shopify. I think it was like my second year of uni before I got into Shopify. So, not a Shopify, <laughs> Spotify. What a fool. Um, but yeah, I got it there anyway. Shazam. I never really used the Shazam app anymore. Um, but it's kind of useful just to have App Store, sort of self-explanatory, apparently got 95 updates. Touch of Tunes, this is an awesome app, but this uh, Touch of Tunes is basically the app for um, basically remote controlled jukeboxes in pubs and bars and stuff. So you can, um, you know, the venue you're in, if it's got a Touch of Tunes box, you just go into your account, you put credit on your phone and you can just pick the songs from your phone. It's really quite cool. Our local pub, uh, our local pub had it before it shut down. It was, um, it was an era. Uh, budgeting. So this is a few budgeting apps I've got. Um, I don't use them anymore. It was early on in my my journey. Uh, so I don't know, that makes me sound pretentious, just sound like a knob. <laughs> but yeah, when I was just like trying to get, get my head around personal finance, I thought these apps would be really good. Um, Emma is quite popular, I believe. Uh, it's quite a big one. Uh, you can link your card and stuff. Then you've got this budget app and spending. They're all sort of very much of a muchness. I don't use any of them. You've then got Top Cashback. So this is a, um, a website where um, you get cash back on your purchases when you go through them and go to certain brands and websites. Uh, you get some money back. Uh, you've got the Streamlabs app. Um, I, I downloaded it, but it doesn't really give me the functionality that I was after, so, um, yeah, a bit untested, I need to have a bit of a play around. Vinted, uh, I've used this once, and it was to purchase uh, some clothing for the stag do. Um, I bought a skirt for the brother-in-law uh, to wear. The, the, one, uh, the lady I was buying it from probably thought, what a nod bod. But maybe not in this day and age. Uh, Better UK. Uh, this is my gym uh, sort of membership app. Um, yeah, just got your, your member card on there. Just scan it. Oh, it's doing my head in. It's basically a crash at this stage. Uh, then FaceTime. So that's page one. In page two. We've kind of got the widget for the budget app. Again, don't use it. I should probably delete it. Uh, you've got Lucky Trip up here. This is quite cool, actually. This is a... Um, basically, you put in some details, like how long you want to go away for your budget and like what sort of holiday you'd like, and then it sort of aggregates and turns out holiday, like holidays that fit that criteria, that are good value, and you get push notification when there's a really good deal on. Pretty cool. Uh, right Move as well. It's a big platform in the UK for buying, selling houses, but also renting. Google Calendar. Um, I use that for work. Duolingo, everyone knows that angry little green mofo. Um, best string me. Um, I sort of go through periods of doing Duolingo. Uh, Google Home, I don't use this too much, but it's mainly for, you know, controlling like your Google Echo or your Google Dot. Um, 
JD Gyms. This was when I was at JD Gyms, uh, an old gym I went to. Uh, Booksy. This is for this is like a hair appointment app. Uh, barbers and beauty and stuff like that. I think I used it once for a barbers in town, but never again. Uh, Canva. So again, pretty self-explanatory. The uh, the photo editing platform. It's really quite cool though because I use it for making thumbnails. But if I need to like sort of quickly crop um, like me out, so me with no background, I could take a picture. I could create the background on, uh, on on my laptop on Canva, and then I could take a picture of myself and do the iPhone thing where it does a cut out, and then go into the app into the thing that I'm working on and paste it on. Really quite cool, very quick. Uh, Ryanair, so that's an airline uh, for flying. As you'd expect, ITVX. This is a again another uh, ITVX, an all four adjust sort of TV um, sort of streaming apps. Passport. This is something for um, uh, work. After uh, it's a, a we work sort of gaff, um, but it means you know you get updates and you get your coffee and stuff. Uh, fantasy hike. So this is pretty cool actually. Um, so this is where it tracks your walking and it tracks you across uh, Middle Earth. Now um, I don't pay for the the full version, so I think I can only do ten kilometers a day. But uh, this is where I am currently. Um, the the person who was uh, I was racing against, John Snowflake, uh, has already reached their destination. I'm estimated to get there on the twenty fifth of May. Currently, where where am I? Um, I'm in troll country, but yeah, you can sort of see. Uh, you can sort of see going on this journey. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Gets your steps in. Pretty cool. Uh, now TV. Um, again, another sort of TV subscription thing. Airtime rewards. So this is quite cool. This is sort of like a cashback, top cashback. However, it's your reward is money off your uh, mobile. Uh, bill or your cell phone bill. O2 priorities. So that's the the phone network that I'm with. You get different re rewards such as free Greg sausage rolls, which is absolutely epic. Acrobat. Uh, that was when I needed to try open a PDF on my phone, and it was an absolute pain in the ass. So I downloaded Acrobat and only made it slightly less of a pain. Octopus. So that's energy bills uh, via Lecky. Uh, get your guide. This was um, th this was because I bought. Uh, this was actually for the stack day. Funny enough, for the pub crawl, I just had your tickets on. Google Chat. I use this for work, so when I'm not on my laptop, I can still you know speak to uh, speak to my team. Second Tesco Club Card app. Uh, I just cannot get enough of Tesco. Really love it. Google Maps. Locating places. Uh, translate. Don't really use that for anything. Uh, Reddit. Again, don't really use it for anything. I think it's just if I find a Reddit that I want to read, I think it made you install the app. What free words? This like locates to your exact position by a free worded uh, phrase. Uberino. Uh, my rail card. So. Uh, I've got 16 to 25 rail card. I am now actually 26, so I'm technically out of scope, but within uh, within my limits on it. So cash back, uh, train line. So that's where you buy trains um, in the UK and Europe. Uh, Stagecoach and first bus. You know, bus tickets for busing around on the People's Chariot. Booking.com. An Airbnb. To be fair, they're all actually kind of connected, which is, yeah, cool. Um, as for, you know, booking places, use Airbnb a fair bit and booking.com to be fair, use a fair bit. City Mapper, this is a really good app, I actually do recommend City Mapper. City Map app, City Mapper. Uh, yeah, if you're in a city and you're trying to get from A to B, it's a real, really good at telling you the routes and times. Uh, now, where so banking app, really, and that should be in business. Admiral, that's uh, home insurance. Um, uh, the Spectator uh, magazine that I subscribe to. My pub, uh, that's just a random, again, one of these random pub apps where you sort of order on the app. Uh, the 1% Club, cracking 
quiz show and um, yeah you can play along with that jet to easy jet again both um both sort of airlines good reads this is where i keep track of the books that i've read i need to do a video on good reads specifically um but if you want to know what i've been reading check out uh, the last video the what i've been watching reading and playing uh, really fun i downloaded this game called assemble which i'm uh, i can sort of open it up i'm looking to do a, a video on it um you sort of um i don't know it's a bit random but it looks like quite a therapeutic just some crap about maria but basically what you do is you know you you know oh yeah oh yeah you look at that and then do you click that and then you click that oh and look and then you just do stuff like that I don't really know. And maintain X is like a building um, sort of app. So, you know, when there's stuff going on in the building, you know, you can keep track of and, you know, comment and stuff. Amazon Alexa, self explanatory. Um, and then on my final page, this is proper miscellaneous. Uh, you've got Omeo. This was the um, it's a sort of ticket app for trains in Europe. This is what I got the. Um, train ticket from Munich to, uh, no, from Prague to Munich, Amazon Prime Video, quite like Prime, I uh, use Prime quite a bit, uh, BT Sport, uh, I don't actually have a BT Sport subscription anymore, so again, this is more of a relic, uh, Skygo, NordVPN, this is very good for Saturdays when I want to watch the football at 3pm to watch Huddersfield Town, I take an instantaneous trip to, um, to Rotterdam and I can uh, watch it. Huddersfield app, of course, up the town. Uh, Bet365, I've not used this in a long time. I've not um, sort of gambled in a, in a long time. I've not put any money on the football for yeah ages now, mainly because I can't remember my login details to put a deposit. And I'm also terrible. Um, Fantasy Premier League, I'm doing atrocious in that. Photoshop Express, I've used it a little bit, but not a great deal. Google Photos, don't use that. Redbubble, this was a random app I bought to buy a sort of novelty t-shirt. Yeah, a bit random. Uh, podcasts, uh, for all your podcasting needs. Uh, sort of the, the podcast that you saw, saw on Spotify, kind of give you a glimpse of what I, uh, what I listen to. Uh, sheets, uh, quite useful. Uh, books, I don't use books. It's books, uh, Blinkist, that's sort of like a adapt that sort of like a cliff notes uh, for books you know, you, you get it you get the gist in like 60 seconds <sighs> a load of crap in my extras uh, compass voice memos calculator I use calculator quite a lot but I access it from the swipe down contacts find by files news and the NHS app again use none of these uh, Google Docs just eat that should actually be in the food department um whatsapp arena uh instagram i don't really use instagram to be fair whatsapp i use quite frequently uh i've got two apps here for my g-shock uh basically um you, you basically it's, it's quite jazzy really it can connect to your phone so it can auto it's got bluetooth so it can auto adjust the time and the date which is quite pretty pretty nifty and then you got we transfer so we for sending any sort of videos or photos um because it can be quite difficult over email you know since like as a google drive link or you know stuff like that proper pain so we transfer is really good journal uh don't use don't quite know why it's installed and then discord so um yeah use that a little bit chatting to the siege lads just uh, that's what we use when we're playing um when we're playing siege Siege Tuesdays is what we do. But um yeah, this is just a little bit of a look at my phone. Hopefully it's not triggered anybody with the utter um shambolic uh organization skills involved there. But um yeah, I thought quite a fun little video and I hope you enjoyed and uh, yeah, whether you're watching uh, while you're you're working, you're studying or you know, you're just trying to relax and wind and maybe get some sleep, I really do appreciate you you're stopping by. Got lots of crack 
making content to come. But yeah, without uh, without just nattering, nattering away, I'll let you I'll let you drift off and uh, yeah, have a good one. So I'll see you all in the next video. So lots of love as always, my friends.